All right, what's up, Logger Nuts? We are here in the rain getting another load. I just kind of wanted to show you what our uh, locker looks like. This is the remaining items from the $7,500 locker we bought. It's a private party purchase. You see there's a lot of big stuff here, but those bins right there have smalls. And then in here, a little bit more cool stuff. A couple more arcade machines. We've sold two of these already. We put them up locally. Uh, one was the Simpsons. The other one was a Marvel pinball machine. Sold one for 400, sold the other for uh, 325. Over here, we've got some big sealed boxes. We believe these have plastic totes in there with vintage toys. Oh, this is the suit of armor. Suit of armor. This is exported from out of the country. Oh. From India. This is, no, this box is very heavy. Yeah. All right. Wow. That's the actual knight's armor. That's crazy. It's okay. $320 to ship it. Wow. Okay, well, we'll do this later because we don't want to take this out in the rain right now. Okay. Uh, then we also found over here, Dragon it says I, I Arcade right here. There's the stand and the bar top game right here. But this one is marked Dragon's Lair. Look it up. That right there, I think, is the Dragon's Lair game, which uh, is one of my favorite games. And then my hair sideshow. This is a stormtrooper, and it's a legendary scale figure. Sideshow. Okay, we're back at the house, and Jenna's ready to start unboxing. All right, let's get rolling. All right, a few more brand new box toys. Can't Star get Trek. Of that. These ones haven't done so well in our auctions, but the Star Wars Power of the Force have actually been surprisingly uh, done. These are the first ones with electronic been, power. Been very popular. So these are a little better. We'll see. 1996 on that. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Good stuff. We'd love to find some 70s and 80s on the card. That would be great. This stuff's been... This stuff apparently has gotten a little bit collectible. Okay. A bunch more loose toys. How'd the loose toys do the other night in the auction? Okay. We put them in big lots. I don't think people realize how great they were. We put them in big lots and sold them by the flat rate box. Yeah, there's some uh, Superman, I think. This looks like more of Todd McFarlane, just from the detail. Werewolf or something. Some kind of wolf creature. I think that's Apocalypse or something. X-Men. There's a, sh a Shocker, I think. Spider-Man. Alright, got a little bit more Star Trek stuff here. There's another phaser gun. We had some the other night, too. There's the Rhino. More Spider-Man. Lots of tools. Lots of tools. There's more Earthworm Jim. People like that. There's Iron Man. Cool. Big one. That looks like it's Sentinel's hand. And there's one of the X-Men. That looks like Micro Machines right there. I think that's Alien Micro Machines. And the Micro Machines that I ran them by themselves did good. There's more. Yep. All right. More, more various. Oh, look. Here's the micro machines right here. Aliens. It is aliens. Good. You know your stuff. Okay, next bin. These these bins we these are our bins. We filled it with all the loose stuff that was in the locker. So there might be some stuff that we showed already. Try to keep it to a minimum. That's some kind of sleeping mat there for camping. It's nice. Yeah, kind of interesting. It's Look brand at this new. pattern in it. The brand. Insulated static V climate. climate. I bet you that's expensive. Oh, I'm sure it is. It's got bought expensive stuff. Blight. Do you see? Sold some of those already. Here's another book. I oh, wish they had, they had these, these together. Found them completely separated. Another 007 die cast. Cool. I think we may have had that one or we had something very similar. Trouble oh, game. Trouble. How fun. Mandalorian. Ah, that's huh. cool. The games have been kind of popular right before Christmas. Oh, but wow. That is so cool. Big Rubik's Cube. Games have been selling cheap. Oh, it's a box of magic tricks. Mm, that's cool. Yeah. And then I got a lot of Target shops. Magic and a snap. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Oh, got a bunch of stuff in I here. I like this. Forbidden Planet. I think it's a comic book shop. Oh. Donner Dinner Party. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I know. David so Copperfield that. book. Okay. Oh, diecast. More magic. A lot of magic. Parlor yeah. tricks, toiletries, and kids' books. Five little golden books. Hmm. $29. That's, that's actually kind of cool. It's a nice little yeah. Christmas present. 
Um, one of the magic tricks I think this guy was especially good at, making his money disappear. <laughs> That's actually really funny. He dude. bought a lot of stuff. Parlor oh, tricks right here. That's heck of funny. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with all these books. We might do a book auction. Yeah, he has toiletries in there with that sound. Alright, what's in here? I haven't found any comic books, I don't think, in this guy's locker yet. So. Superhero stuff, but not comic books. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. Alien Covenant. The art and making of Alien Covenant. Ooh, Aliens book. This is the new nice. movie, right? The more recent Alien Covenant. So that's a good the coffee table book, art book. That's pretty. Um, ooh, The Hobbit. That's a nice, look at that. Munchkin Shakespeare Deluxe. <laughs> and then the ooh, Princess, Princess Bride. Bride. That's cool. Yeah. McFarland. Look at his pants. I know, it's like a funny ring. Huh. Zopa. Zopa ball. Zopa and some sopa. Keepsake, 2001. The other day we did an alien ornament and it went like 30 bucks. That's how, how 9,000 is from 2001. I know, it's kind of crazy. Need some soap, Camille? What are these? That's Monster High, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Three of them. Yeah, we saw those in the locker. Un unlike most of the ones we find, they're usually like pretty scuffed up and like played with. These don't look played with. But... No, they're nice. Yeah. All right, maybe these got some value. They're mermaids. Okay, the box says tarot cards. Live and let die. Live and let die. Isn't Limited that... prop replica. What? Yeah. Yeah, this is James Bond tarot cards. Oh, okay. It's a prop replica. Is there nothing in there? No, there was. He pulled them out. Yeah. Oh, we have to see if we find the tarot cards somewhere. They sell. Jana loves tarot cards. I... Just kidding. She hates tarot cards. That one's empty. Um, here's Cute a backpack. backpack. Oh my gosh. It's cutest bounty. bounty. That we need to sell. That's adorable. It's pretty cool. Brand new with tags. Star Wars. Hmm. All right, here's something good. Yep, lunch bags. We always need them. We need them. We use them. Tag little me. Oh, look how sweet he is. A little plushy. Bounty, something. We should put that with the backpack. Oh, he's so cute. Sell it together. Harry's. Harry's cute. razors. Um, I think these are kind of expensive. Harry's razors. That's sealed. What's this? Anchor? Anchor. Anchor? What is that? It's electronics, but what is it? Is look at it. Oh, is it something for your like thumb, like a stand? It's a speaker. Mm -hmm. Looks Just to me like it's, it's brand a, new. Mm, looks to me like it's to sit your like tablet in there. It's a speaker though, I think. No. It says America's leading charging brand. So maybe it's a charger. Okay, that sounds more like it. Okay, it's a charger. Books and first draft scripts. Alien. Oh thing. wow, that's really cool. This might be legit. It is. Mm hmm. Huh. And then here's a revision one of Alien. Wow, that's this is something different. Yeah, we need to look these up. And there is one that I think. Yep. Uh, this one is a screenplay. North, North by Northwest. $25 on it. Alfred Hitchcock. Very cool. Yeah, it's kind of different, right? Mm -hmm. What do we do with these? We might sell this in our book auction or we might sell it before. Okay. There's the Black Arts. Sounds like a happy read. Newton's Gift. More books. Quantum Evolution. Sounds like a real page turner. <laughs> Jung. Psychology and Alchemy. Don't doubt he wasn't smart. No, he's a very smart guy. This looks like a Funko Pop to me, but we'll open it and find out. All right, here's some little containers. Cool. Bath soap container? That's, or those are actual bath soaps. Okay. Three of them. Four. Gummy pop surprises. Hmm. Sealed new. Wireless game pad. 8-bit D. With a Dracula. Huh, that is so weird. So, this is how the whole thing is done. Three, three more of these pop surprises. World's Greatest Magic. More magic. The Number Devil. Mathematical Adventure. C 
Secrets of Tarot. Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy. This is um, this is definitely a different type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Writer's Journey. Found a lot of writer stuff. I think he was an aspiring writer. Vietnamese. Learn a language. All right. There's some AAA batteries. We keep those. And another book on tarot cards. Okay, this I thought it was a Funko because I recognize that box, but it wasn't. It was another Boba Fett coffee mug. We sold one the other night, so we have a second one. Brand new. Really funny. All right, guys, Gianna had to go. Uh, Camille has a soccer game. I'm not going because I'm still recovering from the open heart surgery. So even though it's been like five and a half, almost six weeks, and I feel really good, I still don't want to be out in the cold. If you can see out here, it is a little bit chilly. It is damp. It is winter. And I don't want to get a cold. The only time I ever have any pain anymore is when I'm sneezing or coughing. Man, that lights me up. So I, I'm being like very, very cautious about catching anything. And I don't want to be out on a um, field, a wet field out in the elements uh, for a couple hours. I don't think that'd be wise. But I do want to see her game. But I got to miss it today. But uh, we'll keep unboxing. And we've got a few set up right here, ready to go. Oh, more stuff. More good stuff. Very similar to the others. Um, there's a Bob Ross action figure. How cool is that? Looks like the palette came loose from the packaging, but the joy of painting. That is a really cool piece. Really cool piece. I like it. Okay. The Child. Talking Clapper Nightlight. Oh, with Nightlight. What? That was already open, so let's just go ahead and look inside because it sounds so fun. I think we've got a... Nope. I thought we had an outlet here. Right. We got an outlet right here. Hmm. <laughs> thought this would. I thought it was a clapper. Hmm. Boy. Okay. Hmm. Didn't think I need the instruction books for this thing. How to operate? Plug in. Oh. Okay. So you plug something else in there, and then when you clap, it turns it on. Got it. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I thought it would talk. I thought it talked or something. Mm. Okay, neat. It definitely does say talking, but maybe something needs to be plugged into it to make it work. I don't know. Scrabble. Oh, that's a nice little Scrabble game. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. That's a really nice one. I like it. Hero, no, Here to Slay. Another little game, card game. 20 bucks new, bought it on sale for 10 bucks. Okay, this, I think we saw this at the unit already. This is like a little, uh, f like for maybe first class airfare or something. You get this little care package. It looks like a little luggage. I don't know. I don't know. Tarot deck for Star Trek. That's <laughs> oh, what will they think of next? Hmm, I don't know how that's supposed to work, but I'm sure that will sell. Cross collectability there. <laughs> Horror tarot's deck and guidebook. 23 euros, brand new on that. Okay, we got some more Batman. Classic ones, the Adam West stuff. This one's a little crushed up. Still brand new. Look at this, infected Batman. I think we found this before. Either this exact same one or a different one. He looks like the Joker, but it's Batman. It's a Batman bottle? Yeah, it's not a sticker. All right, another game right here, Everdell. This one's got some weight to it too. Starling Games, man, look at all these awards it won. This is probably a pretty good game, yeah? Hmm, doesn't have a price on it. Looks expensive. Ice skating rink. Right here. Includes everything you need. Oh, this is one of those tinker crates. Kiwi Co. It's like for kids to build things. And yeah, that's neat. We, I think we sold one of those the other night. All right, this Batman. Ooh, dang, that's cool. This one comes with a comic book inside. Yeah, Injustice 2. Nice. A little Jurassic World. Uno. <laughs> Not just Uno, it's Jurassic World. Love it. Oh, look at this. Clipology. Hmm. So this one's been opened. Real movie clips from your favorite movies and TV shows. 
Streaming party game. That looks pretty fun. Trivia. Happy magic. Oh boy. More magic stuff. Oh, this is bought in Japan, I think. Hotel Majestic in Vietnam. Wow. That's super fancy. Real art. Indiana Jones signed numbered limited edition real prop replicas. Ooh, let's find some of that. James Bond. Okay, that's cool. They got all kinds of stuff. Another letter from Hotel Majestic. Probably is a nice hotel. Oh, yeah. He-Man. Masters Universe. Revelation. Faker. Is he a YouTuber? <laughs> Just kidding. Not really. Shots fired. You know there's a lot of fake YouTubers out there, guys. If you didn't, now you know. We are not one of them. That's why I like to make fun of the ones that are. I'm bringing the stuff right in this room here. You see we're starting to fill the tables. The statues are from a different collection that we bought. Yeah, I'm just, this will all get made pretty. Jan will arrange it, merchandise it, and make it look nice and show worthy for our auction coming up. Actually, that's tomorrow night. But right now I'm just bringing stuff in that we're gonna get right to the auction. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, James Bond playing cards. Fresh, active, what's this, deodorant? Brand new? Oh, yeah, brand new deodorant, okay. Headphones. What is this, guys? Look at this, real art. That's what that pamphlet was for, but this is empty. Hmm, oh. This collectible is a special signed limited edition replica set of metal Jaws teeth. Richard Keel played the villain Jaws in two 007 films. <gasps> this is cool. Uh, so Jana found a grill early on. I don't remember if that made the video or not, but that, I think I know where that is. Let me go get it. Okay. David Leon. Mm, I don't think this is it. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, hmm. She found this, and so I thought, well, maybe. Maybe. She said these could be worth a little bit, too. It's not gold, so I think it's just for show. It's just funny. But this is this what we need to be on the lookout for. This could chrome-plated silver, it says. Huh. This could be something good. <laughs> There's a little Sonic the Hedgehog. Jack specific right there. That's cool. It's probably worth 10 bucks maybe, but that'll be a nice little giveaway. We do giveaways in our auctions. Banana Republic right here. Let's see, got, see if we got anything good here. Eddie Bauer. A lot of undies and undershirts and socks. Prune juice, a warrior drink. That's kind of funny. A little different. That's kind of cool, right? It's old school Batman logo. I already snagged a couple shirts from this locker because they were cool. Godzilla and a Star Wars. Oh, there's a neat one. It's very wrinkled, but yeah, it's a Stormtrooper at at in a Van Gogh Starry Night setting. I do like that. Double X. It's a little big for me, but there's another neat one. Double XL again. Mandalorian. It's just got a cool, like, vintage look to it. The colors and everything. This is the way. All right, over to this side. Okay. Good stuff right on top. Hot Wheels. Hey, that's a Tesla Cybertruck. Oh, dang, look at that. Cybertruck. RC car. That's kind of neat. <laughs> All right. Gaming accessory for the Oculus. Hmm. I have an Oculus. I don't... I guess those are cases to go over it? I don't know. I don't know what the point of that would be. Oh, it's a gun. Right? You put it over... Okay, I get it. So it makes it into a gun. Alright. Whatever. Some bags. It says, I love books. No, I don't. I don't love books in storage lockers. Alright. Look down. 007. Dang, that's cool. Nice. Nice shirt. PS... Uh, oh, I think there's a PS4 controller right here. That's good. There's another one. TV remote. We didn't find no TVs though. There's another remote right here. PlayStation. Three PlayStation remotes. Okay, we've got a bunch of wires here. Quite a few HDMIs, but a couple others too. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Look at this. 
Brand new in the Amazon package. It appears to be brand new. Some handcuffs. Viper Tech. These do not feel like cheap handcuffs. I'll just say that. They don't feel cheap. Those might be something a little bit expensive. I don't know. Never bought handcuffs. We'll look them up. Oh, okay, that's too bad. This is empty. It was a Kindle. And uh, we did find one brand new. Never opened. Just like this. So I already sold it on eBay. I think 130 bucks or something like that. This is another case for, I think, a Switch or something. Found quite a few cases already. Alien. Fate of the Nostromo. And that is sealed brand new. Nice. Oh, look at this, guys. Here's some money. Dude wipes. Oh, yeah. What every dude needs. <laughs> we got two brand new packs of dude wipes. We got some AAA batteries. Just found another pack of those. Brush. Shampoo. Nice. A whole bunch of bathroom stuff. Personal care. And some more Metamucil. Tide. Nice. Flushable wipes. Whoa. Here. What? Look at this. That's a necktie. I mean, a bow tie. 50 bucks at Men's Warehouse. Holy smokes. Yowza. Eva Air. I think those are some slippers. That's what it felt like. What we got here? Abba Voyage. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Very cool. Nice looking cover right there. Lord of the Rings Tarot Deck. Jeez. All kinds of crazy stuff in here. What is this? Huh. Weird. And last, looks like some shoes. Yep. Tommy Hilfiger, though. Those are nice. Alright, let's go. Let's see what's in here. Yep. So I thought it might be. I thought it might be more totes. Seems like all the sealed large boxes have these totes in them. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, okay. What's this? What kind of mythology, guys. There's a centaur. Kind of B. Transformer or something. Oh. Captain Scarlet. Pencil top. Okay. Got a few. Ooh, look at all this Ca Captain Scarlet stuff. Hmm. I don't see the date on it. Probably 90s based on the age of most of this stuff. Look at all this Captain Scarlet stuff. Ooh, this is kind of cool action figures no date all right let's get let's look this up and i do use a upc scanner here guys for not much money if you do look a lot of stuff up it makes it a little bit quicker there is one 1993 sold for 16 dollars, but best offer accepted that's from the united kingdom i'm gonna put in captain scarlet action action figure 1993 oh oh hang on now this guy sold for 50 bucks this piece sold for over 100 so there's some, there's some, uh, there's the gal we have right there, 21. There's some potential here. Not huge money, but definitely worth a bit. There's our guy right here, 31 bucks. There's our guy again. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, that's not our guy. It's different. Error card, okay. Yeah, see, he's got the red guy. This is the blue guy. It's an error. Interesting. Looking up by the UPC code makes it very fast. But it's not always the best method because all of these were listed. Not all of these, but there's you see there's a few listed without scanning in the UPC code. So we get more matches when we just put in text like this. But you get quick results when you scan the UPC. Interesting. So this stuff we might have to look up because if there's a occasional piece that's worth big money. This is nice. Hmm. Captain Scarlet. There we go. Some more two of those oh this is nice power of the force speeder bike oh someone asked if we had some knights any knights a couple of auctions ago now we do i thought there was a good chance we would oh what's this this is uh star wars figures but it is also power of the force this is not the original stuff the 70s and 80s this looks like more 1990s so still cool scarlet Classic Star Wars, Uhura, nice. Ah, there's the Max. I don't think I've ever seen a Max action figure. 
More of McFarlane, I think. Yeah, McFarlane. Nice. It's Gambit. There's a gorilla. There's the blob. I don't know who this is. Looks like Sabretooth, but I don't think it is. More Captain Scarlet. Good. More Captain Scarlet. Good. More Captain Scarlet. Good. That's cool. Yeah, so like I said earlier, all these loose guys, we will wind up putting in lots. And by lots, I mean, like, I've already started some right here, if you look. Okay, like, right here. This is all, um, this guy's Mars Attack, so I'm gonna pull him out, because otherwise, and then this guy, I'm not so sure. But the rest of them are action, uh, sorry, the rest of them are superheroes from the comics. So, like, I would take a guy like the Blob and add him in. I mean, I thought it was action figures, but that guy's not action figure, so... I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe these weren't all action figures, but they're mostly action figures. So I fill a box up like this, flat rate box, and we sell the whole box like that on our whatnot auction, guys. If you, if you didn't know, that's where we sell almost all this great stuff is being sold on whatnot, and that's the auction app. Total chaos right here, Todd McFarlane. Interesting. So yeah, I was setting up our auction for tomorrow right here this is our show for tomorrow night and we'll be selling toys 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 and comics and jewelry and who knows what else and let me show you guys what it looks like so i just logged into whatnot here and got some people these guys right here deals to steal they become friends of ours another big seller uh they're bigger than us but i mean they're another very large seller here on whatnot and um they got some great stuff are in there so check this out we'll go to see what they're selling all right guys it is running just running out three bucks you're getting so you see right now they got some stuff selling for three bucks we would click on this and slide it it's a nice amount of cards what is it cards that looks kind of interesting i don't know we get a lot of cards so we sell a lot of cards so i can't say that i'd be too excited about buying cards if it's comics i might bid on it and you see right here shipping is six dollars 78 cents very fair and um you just simply click and swipe to place your bid and there you go planet crouton right, just won that one planet. and uh that's it and then they move on to the next one it's so much fun guys it, if you go to a good seller like these guys i do consider us to have a good uh, auction Ooh, xbox one brand new seal we have this one nice and we have this one that's cool i just got a ps5 otherwise i might bid on this because previously i was playing my xbox one that i found in a locker all right guys i'm gonna turn that off because if I keep watching it, I will be tempted to buy something because it is fun and there's great stuff on there. And um, if you haven't been there before, I just do encourage you when you sign up the first time, please use our link. And we put the link, I mean, we put it everywhere in every one of our video descriptions. Pretty much there's a link on our website. There's a link. It's so easy to find the link. Uh, you don't have to look that hard, but you do need to use it when you sign up that first time because that's going to get you a $15 spending credit for free. Uh, so that's on Whatnot. That's their promotion that they'd offered to us as a sponsored partner and that is a fantastic deal guys because you'll get $15 for free just for signing up and trying it out and you're gonna love it you're gonna have a lot of fun and for 15 bucks you can buy a lot of stuff because stuff sells for us it's not so good it sells cheap for you guys it's great there's so many deals to be had you're gonna find stuff for way cheaper than you can find at other places and it's really exciting stuff like in this locker for example I mean look at this there may be some real expensive gems in here and uh, you could pick it up for a fraction of what it's worth. You can resell it, you can add to your collection, whatever you're gonna do, but it's not all toys, right? We're gonna be selling jewelry, we sell coins, we sell household stuff, we sell robes, we sell towels, we sell blankets, we sell everything that we find in lockers. So it's a total variety show. You never know what we're gonna pull out next, but I can almost guarantee there's gonna be stuff that you're gonna want, all right? So come join us and have some fun. All right, let's get to the next box. All right, next box. Okay, ooh yeah, a lot more uh, brand new toys here. Amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man stuff does really good. Doesn't mean these are expensive, but just seems to sell a little bit better. Always Spider-Man, 1996 on those. And then, ooh yeah, look at this. Spawn, brand new. Removable body armor. So cool. There's more. Right, let's get this off the top though. Oh, nice. More micro machines. This is a um, what's this called? It's a stormtrooper, but it's like the 
X-Wing pilot or something. Yeah, cool. More more Micro Machine Star Wars. This is, this is more Micro Machines. I think this is more Aliens. I think. It's Aliens. Cool. What's this? Hallmark Store. Oh, nice. Darth Vader Magic, it says. Light and Boys. This is a good one. $24 brand new. Very nice. What's this? <laughs> Just a tin. It's funny. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. More Micro Machine Star Wars. Imperial Guard right there. More Spider Man. Sweet. More Spawn. Nice. That is so stinking cool. Super Patriot. Nice. Widowmaker. The Freak. <laughs> X-Men Generation X White Queen and then look at this guy more power of the four stuff but this is a Rebel Snow Speeder hot dang that is sealed brand new guys brand new sealed brand new sealed with flashing electronic laser cannons nice that's another great box alright I grabbed some more stuff out the side of the van let's keep it going guys Find some more goodies. What's in here? Loops. Optics. Eagle Masika. What the heck is this? All right, so I looked up this thing right here. Unfortunately, this is some kind of little magic trick from Japan, I think. Loops. And now that I'm looking at it, it looks like that's mostly what this is, right? Bold over. Chris Talbot. World Magic Shop. It's empty. Vanishing Diet Coke can. That's kind of funny. Hmm. I don't know why I, I thought that said Diet Coke can. It just says Coke can. Um. Well, this is not going to be the first stuff I deal with. That's for sure. I'm going to put the stuff aside. Ever filling glass locking sealed brand new. Some of the stuff might have a little value. That's sealed brand new, whatever that is. Biddle camera module. Maybe we'll look that up. Doesn't sound like magic. So, The Awakening, Dan Harlan. This sounds more like magic. Yeah, p3magic.com. All right, so anyways, guys, I don't know what we're going to do with this. Maybe we can sell some, or we'll just lot it up and sell magic by the lots. You know, put in a big lot of stuff and sell it. It appears to be what all this is. As soon as I say that, I find this right here. Pin, moving pin, Star Wars, Disney. That's cool. And then I found this little instruction book right here for the Walther Airsoft gun. That looks like some airsoft pellets right there. And that's pretty cool because we found the Walther earlier. And this thing I think is pretty expensive. I think it's worth about 60 bucks. So found a little bit more to go with that. Okay, next box. I was just thinking, please no more magic. Please no more magic. I don't think magic's easy to sell. What is this? Hmm. It's different. Some kind of like, almost like a comic book, but asterisk. It's in some foreign language too. All right, but we do definitely do have some more magic. This. There's some electronics. Vanishing. More magic. Looks like that used to be electronics. Oh, I think it's a screen protector, actually. Nintendo. Switch. Uh, screen protector for Switch, I think. There's a USB-C right here. Good cord. Magic, magic. The time machine. <laughs> Business model generation. A little bit of books. And what's this? Tricky bottles produced by or uh, manufactured by Max Magic in Columbus, Ohio. We supply with two glass bottles, two metal covers, and one metal fake. The fake fits inside one of the other covers. Okay, so this is another magic trip. But it's it feels it's heavy. It feels high quality, and they packed it up like it was something important. So interesting. Might be worth a little bit. 
All right, those last two boxes were kind of a bust, but this little bag right here looks good. Rubik's Cube. Uh, I think we sold one of these last week, or maybe just a few days ago in our auction. There's another die cast car. Looks like the covers come off a little bit. Huh. I'll have to get that seated on better. That's kind of neat. It pulls off though. Show the detail inside. Neat. Very cool. Very cool. These uh, 007 James Bond pieces, they sell pretty well too. The Spy Who Loved Me. All right. Oh, Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. That's kind of funny. And <laughs> Sink and Sand game. Kinetic Sand. That looks kind of cool. That's different. Another game. Oh, Elf. We already had one of these. I mean, we sold it. So this is the second one we found in this in this um, locker. Very cool. Ticket to Ride San Francisco. Days of Wonder game. And oh, another Hot Wheels. Armored Batmobile. Very cool. Hot Wheels. People have been asking about Hot Wheels lately. So there's another Hot Wheels, and that's it for that bag. All right. Next box. Ooh, this one looks different. <laughs> there's a lot of little stuff in here. Digital camera. Okay. Uh, here's more hero clicks. Yep. Hero clicks. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I remember finding this right here. I like these. What the heck is this? Sorcery manufacturing. Hmm. I don't know what that is. 50 greatest magic illusions. She's more magic. 007 music soundtrack. I really like James Bond. All right, these hero clicks I'll bring in the auction room. We'll be adding these to our hero click offerings tonight. You see down here we've got hero clicks. Um, these drawers, these drawers, and a couple more boxes down here. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? We've got so many hero clicks. This is a whole bunch of maps and mats and all kinds of this is all hero clicks down here that collection was part of a recent comic book collection that we purchased not the greatest pickup in the world for us now this is a switch okay i remember we saw this some of this stuff already so i'll sort this out put all the magic stuff with the magic try to keep that together okay we got a little bit more boxes to go for the load that we took home Bubble wrap. Okay, looks good. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got more of this vintage Star Wars. I don't think we had that one before. Princess Leia with R2D2. 1997. Pretty good. Power of the Force. Lightsaber. Classic. 1995. I don't think it's worth anything, but it's it's kind of neat. There's oh. a, where the wild things are. Hmm, that's a great book. 1980. Well, that's a little older. Yeah. That might have a little bit more value. Maybe Anastasia. The rope it says. Is that what it says? Hmm. Is that a Happy Meal toy? No, yeah, I think so. It's awfully large. It's awfully nice. That's cool. Animated Batman. Here's huh. a little walkie-talkie. R2D2. Star oh, Trek. Oh wow, that might be worth something. What year is that? Hmm. Thunderbirds. Matchbox, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, good su subject matter. Millennium Falcon. I wonder if they're in there. Got those too late. We should have got the Zerg for Christmas. Right now we're filming this uh, on New Year's Eve, actually. This is kind of cool, this Thunderbirds. It's Matchbox, huh? 1994. Okay. It looks older. 30, 30 years, 30 tomorrow. Ooh, what's that? Yeah. Cool color. That's what he is. Oh, most speeda. That's kind of neat. We'll look, we'll look him up since we have the instructions. What is that? Feels like, feels like the Batman. I don't think that's Two Face though. Hmm. Feels like the same type of figure. That's kind of cool. Piggy bank. Put it in his mouth. Look. Maybe. Yeah. That's cool. Figure in here. Maybe those are Star Trek. Mm. Wow. Is that 
tape. It's a tuner. Hmm. Here we got a lot more loose toys. There's Astro Boy. Oh, this is kind of good here. These are good. Spider-Man, these have been a little better. Of, of the fig action figures that we found, these have been a little bit better ones. 1996, Black Cat. Alright, more of these. Oh, this guy's falling out. Alright. Those don't sell for that much anyways. The Star Trek stuff's been selling low, but we found only one in the box of these figurines. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Han Solo. Now we got a lot more. Darth Vader. Ooh, these are nice. This is the collector series too, so Skywalker and Obi, so all four in the series. That's great. Boba Fett. Boba's popular. X Men, Psylocke. Hmm. Rebel Alliance, little micro machines there. Mm hmm. More Star Trek. This looks like a micro machine. I think it may be here. Oh, there you go. Great, look at that all bagged. It's like brand new. Nice. Okay. Ooh, people have been asking for the Hulk. Really? Yeah, last couple times. They were like, Jenny, incredible Hulk. There's a gray Hulk. Wow. He's got a fancy suit on. That's pretty funny. There's another Hulk. Ooh, it's Hulk land. Everything's themed. It's so funny. It's like a bank almost. Who's that? It's from these, uh, it's from the Marvel. I don't mm. know who he is though. Ooh, that's kind of got a lot of detail. Yeah. That's from Star Wars. Sweet. That goes to it here. Nice. Yeah, just a few more loose things. There's die cast right there. Cool. 1994. Mm -hmm. All right, this is our last two boxes right here. This is the last two bins, I'm pretty sure. So, um, then we'll go back and get some more stuff. Maybe tomorrow, some Star Wars to start us out. More good stuff. Star Trek, not as good stuff. Yoda, Yoda. Power of the Force, Shadows of the Empire. This is good. Micro Ooh, Machines. Nice. Yeah, here's another one of Same these. Same material. Guys. He's got sandals on. That's like a funny. Yeah. It's different. Two of those. Yeah, those are different. Okay, we got a ton of these. Oh, this is uh. Ten of apes. Ten of apes. I wonder if those other guys were too. I'm not sure if that is, but. Hmm. Kind of the apes might be older. Oh wow! I remember that as a kid. That was epic. Okay, that's Star Wars again. Okay. Oh, zombies or something. Alien. Falling-ish looking. The Todd McFarlane looking thing. Oh, here's his body right here. Okay. Looks like he broke. A lot of detail. That's kind of interesting. Okay, that is really cool. McFarlane toys. Hmm. That's pretty wicked. More Star Wars. That might have a little value. Oh right, yeah, look at that. It's like a little left town Medusa. There's a Tauntaun. Oh, I remember that as a kid. My Barbie used to really enjoy driving through the mountainside. Iron Man? <laughs> What's this? Snowman. Ooh, still in the box. Huh, that's neat. That is neat. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Is that micro machine as well? Could be. Looks like it. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is kind of crazy. That's so detailed. Neat. Yeah, the I condition. don't know what sits on here. So amazing and everything. Pretty neat. Okay. A couple more new toys. Wet Works and Fantastic Four. Medusa. Those will go right into our auction. Not sure what that is. More wicked looking things. Mm-hmm. Looks like he has some calcium deficiencies. Oh. Little Luke. Yeah. This is definitely McFarlane stuff. Some evil Eddie or what is it? I forget his name. Looks like a squirrel or something. Or Marvel characters. Another one. Oh, it's kind of 80s. There we go. Tuscan Raider. 
Name my fantasy football team right there. It's 22 bucks back when it was sold. Dang. Yeah, that's kind of neat. A lot more Star Trek stuff. Some brand new Star Trek stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good. Spawn. Brand new. Mm -hmm. Ready for a battle. Vandalizer. Star Wars Power of the Force. Been opened. That's cool. What the heck? More Star Trek stuff. It's the Emperor. What's that? I think that's Star Trek. And then here's another Micro Machines, is it? Yeah, Tiny Collector's Edition number right there. 007708. Yeah, I don't see I don't see where it says Micro Machines though. Playmates though, but yeah, there's the little guys. Mini playset. Brand new. Hmm. And then all right, another spawn. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Viking spawn this time. Sweet. And it's back in order. Damn, these are huge um, Happy Meal toys with this bird thing. Ah, that bird thing is spinning the dough on my freebies. All right, that's it. Some miscellaneous toys. Okay, here's our last uh, piece. We have one more box. Look at this. Bannon. It's really large. Mm-hmm. Here's the bottom. Crazy Toys, Hulk, Marquette, Maquette from the Avengers. 